I'm stunning, nigga. Rich gang, 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 gang. Let it. Let Boy, what the hell are you doing in here throwing up set? You ain't got no job. What's good, NHE squad? This is your boy, NHE One Mike, and welcome back for another interview. B. Today, we got a special guest. This person I know from PlayStation Home. She was in Division 4 FSS. You know, she was with NHG. You know, we got Jug in the building. What's good, B? What's good with you? Man, you know, man, it, it's been some years we, we talked, you know. Um, yeah. A good amount of good years. Um, I want to, you know, I want to at least get a backstory for the people who probably don't know you. And people who do know you probably didn't, didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Um, okay, well, I started on PlayStation uh, Home. Okay. Um, I joined a new MTO. Actually, mm -hmm. I joined in 3W first. When I first joined PlayStation Home, um, I was a backer for PlayStation Home at 75K. Um, uh -huh. I had a lot of abilities. Um, I was kind of like Mike Shy. Um, I was a roaster. I was a hardcore roaster. Um, I was put on YouTube for, you know, being exposed and all this other stuff, yeah, which are, I don't are. mind it. I don't mind it at all. When... Oh, let's, let's pause for a minute. About to expose. Um, damn. When you okay? When you first you know got on PlayStation Home, you know join three W, join um UNTO. Who was the person like? Who who exposed you? It was like one of your boyfriends. It was UMTO. It was UMTO. Wait a minute. The when fam UMTO. I, yeah, the fam exposed me. What? I joined. Yeah, when I joined, I started talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. And um, we got kind of close, and me and him kind of had a fallout. And he was like, "Well, I'm gonna expose you." And I said, "Don't do what you know. Don't do it. Whatever." Uh -huh. But then at the end of the day, as I started gradually getting used to home, and I started to see things, I said, "I don't care. I'm a no fucks person. I let it all out on the line. I tell it how it is." Uh -huh. You don't like it, kiss my motherfucking white honky ass. I'm I'm that type of person. <laughs> but in Damn. all reality, at the end of the day, I can shut this PlayStation off and go do my real life. I don't have to be on mm -hmm. here twenty four fucking seven. Most people you know, I was that. on there I was on there twenty four seven. You know, I was on there mm -hmm. from night to day. You know, I wasn't working at the time. You know, I was really hardcore into the fucking fighting and the beef and the drama. And mm -hmm. you know, then all of a sudden it all just stopped and then that's when home decided to close and I kind of like disappeared. I literally mm -hmm. disappeared into thin air and I just joined Nebula like a year ago. And when I came back, everybody was like, oh shit, Juggalette 20 is back. Whoa! I ain't seen <laughs> her for shocked. five years. Everybody was real shocked, you know, because they were like, "Wow!" So well, you know, on, when let, I let joined, me stop you. hold on, let me, let me stop you real quick. Um, you know, before before you even you know got yourself a place for John Nebula, um, why did you disappear for all them years? Then decided to you know jump back in the game, put your name back out there and stuff like that. Um, it was more of my life i have three kids mm -hmm. that i had to attend to i was in a relationship off of playstation home and i was basically doing my real life i didn't really feel the need to be on the platform again uh -huh. but when i kind of got bored because i started working and i started you know having life again mm -hmm. my kids got older you know my kids started playing other pla my son even plays he plays xbox oh, so really? when he started okay. playing yeah so when he started playing i kind of like got back into things and then when my kids started going to school and i was home during the day i felt you know that i should get or I should come back on and let me see what things are, you mm -hmm. know? So I dug out my PlayStation four and I started, you know, playing around and everybody was talking about Nebula and you know, they, yeah. um, I was in a couple like chats on kick and then I decided just one day just to come back. 
and it's been a year and like two, three months that I've been back. And since I've been back, it's been rocky, but it's also been where people know that I don't care about what's Mm -hmm. said about me from my past, what's said about me now, because I know me. I know at the end of the day, I could shut this PlayStation 4 off and I'm gone. You know, it's not, and people ask me all the time, like, do you think you ever will disappear again? I have. You have? I actually have. I, in December of last year, um, I went away for almost till February or March. I was gone. And Mm. I took that time away because my divorce was finalized and my Uh. kids were going through some shit. So I came, when that was all resolved, I came back and then they were like, oh, you're back. You know, we're happy to have you back and all this other stuff. And I ended up joining a fam. I ended up joining 3W again, but I saw how... I saw how 3W was running shit, and I stepped away from that. I became solo for about two months, and then up until recently, I was in um, I was in 7G for like really? a month. I left that. Yeah, I left 7G. Okay. And then um, I just became solo for a little bit, and then after that, I ended up meeting I. Saw karma one day, and Ooh, no, when let me I met... stop you. Let me stop you. Let me stop you. Hold on, hold on. We, we're, okay. we're gonna get to karma for a, a minute, but I still want to, um, you know, actually a little bit more stuff. Um, you know, joining back, you know, coming from PlayStation home, been going for like five or six years, joining, you know, the PlayStation back. Well, joining back to PlayStation community, you know, going on Nebula. Um, how what was the the shift from PlayStation on Nebula? What was the difference from 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 those two platforms that you probably didn't you know wasn't rocking with? Well, as far as like as far as like the Nebula wise, because it's so different. Because like on home, you had so many more options. You had options to be in different servers. You had options to be in a party just on PlayStation Home. You didn't have to go and add them on two different ways, like you do on Nebula. You, now Nebula is confined. It's more, you are going to run into people that you are going to see every day. You know, you're going to see the beef. You're going to see the fights. You're going to see fans beefing with each other on now. Mm -hmm. Um, As far as the platform with Home, though, you have that freedom. Now you don't have that freedom. Now you actually have to, you know, know that person on and off Nebula. And as far as the content wise for Nebula, it's Mm -hmm. okay to the point where you're able to contain yourself, Uh but the drama is more compact. So if one man gets the drama, yeah, it's more compact now. You don't have the freedom like you did on home with hmm. home you had more fams you yeah, had, yeah, yeah you know more open spaces now on nebula you don't have that you it's, don't have it's like that. they put there's, you in the box limited. and you just gotta yes yeah they put you in a box and that. they just you know you really gotta watch what you say you gotta watch mm-hmm. what you do because there's not that many fans on nebula there's maybe like four fans you know, and there's not many that you can really join because they all inter- interact with each other in some way or another. Mm-hmm. You know, so like if you join 730, you're going to, you know, you possibly will join 7G. So you have to really like really mentally think about what fam you're really going to join. Mm. And you can be solo on Nebula, but it's not as for me because I'm a fam person. It's mm. not as fun being solo so being in a fam you know you get your drama you get your parties you get to talk to people you get to meet new people but being solo on nebula is kind of hard because you have to adjust yourself to being alone you can have friends and all that but being in a fam more 
is more of an opportunity and a better opportunity for some people, especially mm. someone like me that's been in a fam, that yeah. is known to be in a fam, someone that's, you know, I've been there, so I know that being in a fam for me is my best option because I'm not good. I'm good at being solo. I'm good at being uh-huh. that. But for me, it's best for me to be in a fam. Man, I ain't really, you know, thought about that. Like, I, I always thought it was like a couple of fans on there, blah, blah, blah. Now, thinking about it, just counting off my top of my head, it's like four fans. Yeah. Like, wow. And you really got to, and they all interact with each other. Yep. They're, you know, they're either beefing or they're siding with each other or, you know, they're having parties with each other, you know, mm-hmm. so you, you really got to watch what you say in that fam, what you do in that fam, because yeah. when you go to the next fam, you're going to have info on the fam that you was just in and they're going to try to use that on that other fam, mm-hmm. especially if there's someone like me that knows the deep, deeper, especially like with 730, 7G, you know, when yep. um, NHD came back, when JC brought NHD back, you know, it's mm-hmm. just like, I know them backgrounds. I know who their leaders are. I know who their co-founders are. I know, like with Artis, because Artis is not 3W no more. He's, you know, he is 3W, but he's not leading it no more. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, all right. Um, What you think? Because I know, you know, on PlayStation Home, Man, I know you. You probably spent a lot of money. You had the new clothes, new houses, oh, yeah. everything. What you? How you feel about Nebula? You know, clothes. Can you buy houses on there? Yeah, you can buy houses. Um, the content with Nebula to me mm-hmm. is less. There may be stores from that were on PlayStation Home, but as far as how much content there is on Nebula, uh-huh. there's not a lot. There's Damn. not a lot at all. It's it's really limited. You really have to put an outfit together. And every update, you have to buy something to put with their previous update. Because wow. the first update wasn't always good, and the second update may even be better. Like recently with like the Ghost Town stuff, you only had a certain amount of time to get like the rewards. You couldn't just go back like on home where you can continue to get them rewards. Mm-hmm. Now on Nebula, they're taking servers away. Like what? they're planning wow. on taking the the Halloween place away. You know, just like they took the park and they made it smaller and you know, it's and the crashing on on Nebula is so much worse than it was on home. Because Damn. now you can get a blue screen right after you change clothes you know you you get a freeze or you know you didn't have yeah. that when you were on home you Hell had nah. more freedom <laughs> god damn man that, that's crazy yo. it is like, crazy mm. it is really crazy don't get me wrong i like nebula i uh-huh. like who i hang out with i like who i associate with but between the crashing and the content it makes me question how much longer Nebula will be around. When is the next content going to be around? They said that they were going to bring Avi Life. Mm. And they had the Avi Life stuff happen and it failed yep. because they didn't get enough funding for it. So it makes me question is Nebula going to be able to keep up? Mm, and is Nebula going to be able to. Keep up with the content, keep up with updating the servers. You know, you got to understand with home, they had a lot of developers. They had a lot of people Hell behind yeah. that. When the PlayStation Especially when, like, 4 new came games out, came out, you know, PlayStation Home yeah. had like the yeah. space of it. So, yeah, they had spaces, they had, you know, clothes, they had cars, they had, mm-hmm. you know, you can do weddings, you can do all types of different stuff. On Nebula, as far as their content, you can't do that. You actually have to piece things together and work around what the content is on Nebula. And that's the reason why I still constantly, I buy crystals all the time. Because I'm constantly, when an update comes, I'm constantly buying something to put something that I had before that I know that it's not going to be complete until they come out with some more stuff. Nebula needs a 
step their game up or something like they need to and they're trying to live up the hype of playstation they got they got a lot of work to do but they're trying they to do, do. That. as far yeah. as like the blue screens and the freezing it would be much appreciated to someone that wants to enjoy it mm -hmm. you know right. i'm not on here i'm not on nebula a whole lot so when i do come on I want to enjoy the time that I am on here. And with, between the content and the freezing, it makes me question how long Nebula will actually be around. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I want to, you know, give some little history back on PlayStation Home. Now, how was Division 4 when you was in there with us? Like, what was your experience? I loved it. I, I loved, loved it. it. I loved <laughs> I love that I was in a fam. I love that I was chill with everybody. I knew mm -hmm. the founder was. I knew the co-founder was. I knew who you. I I knew what Mike is. I knew who JC was. You know, I hung around all you guys. Yep. I knew what I was into. You Man. know, I really and I really enjoyed that spending that time. You know, beefing and you know having that. I would say quality time with them because we would always chill. We would always have parties, mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. fighting, micing up. Oh my God. Right. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was pretty ruthless, you know? Yeah. The vision four was ruthless. Hell yeah. Yeah. It was, you know, it was really deep, you know, cause I was beefing a lot on, mm -hmm. I mean, I was in a lot of mic ups between female and male because the males knew that I was a fighter. Yep. They knew that I would mic up. They knew that I would cam up with them. You know, and especially and now that's another thing with the cross between the PlayStation three and the four, mm -hmm. you can't do the cam ups like you could do oh, on nah, the PlayStation they, three. Yeah, they took the cams. Like I don't know yes. why. Some people said that like the um like the people who you know made PlayStation Three probably seen what well, all the fuck was going on. That's why they, they they didn't put the cameras on the PS4 uh -huh. because they felt like it was gonna happen again. But, yes, oh, and it's crazy. And they didn't want that. And I understand where they're coming from on that mm -hmm. part. But there's also they should have looked at it from the consumer part of things. Yeah. Because they've already taken stuff away already from the PlayStation 4. Like, Facebook is gone. You can't oh, connect yeah. to Facebook. Awesome. You, and they're talking about the PlayStation, um, they're talking about the PlayStation and how you got, um, how you can't go on here and you can't, like, like the Share Factory. That's, that's, that's nothing. I don't even know why that's even on here. But, you like, like they added, no, I don't like Share Factory. It's, and it's just like the PlayStation Now. I understand where they came with that, so that mm -hmm. you can crossplay, but you gotta pay for that monthly. Yeah, you just do. like the Playroom. It's it's. I don't understand where they come with that. Why yeah. did you add that when you should have added something that was gonna be more content related to someone that's actually gonna use it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a gamer, but you also have people that are gonna crossplay between different games. Man. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, let me ask you this one, too. Like, you know, you was with NHG at the time. Um, what was your experience, you know, being an NHG member? What did I experience? How did I like it? I yeah. fucking loved it. When JC came up to me and recruited me, I was happy as fuck because I was fanless then. Uh -huh. You know, and when I joined NHG, I really... I really enjoyed it. I really thought NHG was going to go go further than what it actually did, and it did. It you know yeah, it, it really did. it really outpoured on me because I loved it because JC is a fighter, he's Definitely. a mic upper, you know, and he's he's <laughs> about fights. it. So you know, just like I am, like be real about who you are and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Fuck what other people are saying. Fuck what you know. That's how I am. Man. That's how I look at. That's how I look at things. Fuck what people say about me. I don't give two fucks. <laughs> I will walk on Nebula. I will walk on Nebula now. What you say to me doesn't affect me now. Mm. 
Ew. You know, I I really enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed oh. the mic ups. I enjoyed the you know having the parties. I enjoyed hanging out with you, JC. Um, you know, with everybody, I I enjoyed it. That's what's up. You know, so, yeah, you were definitely a fighter in NHC, man. You and you recruit your ass off too. Oh yeah, bring people in too. So definitely. Oh yeah, and when, like when I was in three W on home, I had my own division times two. I was running two girl two divisions. I had a girl division, and then I had a mixed division. I was literally maxing them out. Damn. Um, Artist will even tell you because he was like, you have so many people in your division that you actually had to go and start another division. And I was running that shit. I was running it like I was fucking top notch boss. I had everything going. I was doing the meetings. I was doing like parties. I was doing like uh, giveaways Mm -hmm. of PSN cards. I was doing it all, you know, and I I recruit who I think is going to be good for that fam. I just don't go up and recruit some knob because a knob is basically someone that's new to a platform, you know. Mm. So at the end, when everything was said and done and everything was going away, I was saddened by it. I was saddened that they yeah, were closing the hall. Say. Oh, yeah, because, you know, when 2015 hit and everything came came down to it, and they decided to close home, a lot of people were upset because of the money issue. Yes, I had spent yes. thousands upon thousands of dollars on my juggle at 20 account um i remember i had did a pull screen from not only my credit card but Mm -hmm. from like receipts that i had and cards that i had and i had called sony and they had gave me a report of how much my juggle account my juggle at 20 account was worth and they estimated and they estimated over seventy five thousand dollars damn from Ooh. 2008 all the way to 2015. Damn, God, damn, Joe. Yeah, I was I was buying fifty dollars PSN cards weekly, weekly. Man. I had I had everything that was new. I had everything no, that was big facts. I will I will see I, you have a new outfit just came out, and I'm like, damn, Joe, like you copied it that fast. <laughs> Because I was, yeah. I, I had, I not only had to keep up with my image, but I had uh-huh. to keep up with the fam that I was in. Mm-hmm. I had to keep up with everybody else. And it wasn't just because I wanted to. It wasn't just because I had to. It was because mm-hmm. I liked to. Mm-hmm. I like to have the newest shit. Just like on Nebula. Like, all the new content, I go through it. I see what I like. I buy, I buy most of it. Um, you know, I have mm-hmm. two accounts on here now. I just don't have my Juggy Boss 420. I have my Miss Boss Juggy on here now. So okay. I'm not only playing one, I'm playing two. So I'm buying double and spending it mm. on Nebula. Because I want Nebula to go further and bring more content, bring more to the platform. Because I want to see Nebula go further. I want it to go uh-huh. as far as home did. Because I think it has that potential. It just needs that boost. Yeah, okay, okay. And I hope that one day the person comes along and says, here's this much money. Let's let's bring it bigger. Let's bring more content for the users, for the people that want to be on here. Okay, you know, okay. Nebula is not for kids. It's, <laughs> it's really, not. it's really, it it's, I mean, it is to a point. But in when it comes down to the fam part of stuff, uh-huh. it's not. Because you have a lot of these fams that have been on PlayStation Home. They know what's going on. They yep. know how to spit game to get somebody in or how to go into another fam and try to slide them over into their fam. So it's just not – I consider it more adult-based. Mm-hmm. Somebody I, 21 I and older. Like, I think it's – it's, it's, I right. think it's still kids. 
I mean, uh, when it comes down to the nitty pick bullshit, mm -hmm. yes. But when it comes down to the fam stuff, that's more towards somebody that's been in a fam before, that has yeah. seen, that has seen, you know, how it was on home and how it is on Nebula, and their mind is there because you know there is mic ups now more often than than anything now, mm -hmm. you know. Man, okay. Um, I want to ask you this too. I don't know if you remember this, but I remember I was messing with this girl named. Um, Miss what was Miss T C. You remember her? Yes, I remember her. Uh, <laughs> now I remember that you snitched on me. Remember, remember uh, that? Uh huh. You told her that I was on um, talking to another chick on PlayStation Home. Now, uh -huh. my question is: Is why did you do that? Spite. Spite. Um, spite. Um, power. Um, petty. I was, I, you know, I can say that I was petty on home. Mm -hmm. You know, I played both sides. You know, I played the evil side of me and I also played the nice side of me. You know, and I still do. You know, well, I what, still. What did I did to you to do that to me? Off record. Uh huh. I liked you a whole lot. Now, what you mean light? You talking about like, oh, you just like me as a person? Or you talking about like, light, light? Light, light. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. And that's, that had a lot to do with it. Oh. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I kind of still do that. But I don't do it to a point. And I don't do it to that point no more. I don't go and say, you know, this is what this person did. Or what that person said. I don't do it like that no more. I let the shit hit the fan and I go, oh, okay, well, time for me to make my move and slide right in. <laughs> I'm, I'm that type of person. Uh -huh. okay. So I did it more out of spite, you can say. A <laughs> jerk. Oh, my God. Ruthless. Yo, after six years now, I finally know. Oh, my God. <laughs> six years. After six years now, I know. And it, okay. and it, if it wasn't for me messaging you about Nova... You uh -huh. probably would have never known. Nope. Never know. All right. Well, um, <laughs> you, you something else, Jack. <laughs> hey. Holy shit. Like I always say, I since didn't see I've the, been on. I didn't see the signs either. Like, I didn't see no, nothing telling me like, oh, Jug like me or anything like that. So I didn't, I didn't see You're it. Not, well, that's because I hid shit. I hide how I feel sometimes just to uh -huh. some people. And I don't let it be known because you were what I call high ranker because you were right next to JC. Mm -hmm. So I was not going to come out and just say it because I knew if I did, there would be some controversy. And I didn't want okay. that. Oh, yeah, I see your point. Even though, and, 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 but at the end of it, it all came out. Yeah, I ended up doing it. I ended up doing it out of spite. And shit fucked up. Yeah, that, that was a cra that was a crazy day. Like I told Jay-Z, like, bro, you need to fix this, my nigga. And that, that 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 was crazy. I'm like, yo, I need your help. I need your my back on this. <laughs> yo, <laughs> and I remember JC getting on me about it. I remember JC coming yeah. to me and he was like, you know, you can't be doing that, Juggy. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't do that. You know, that's you know that's him and his relationship. Why are you getting in between that? You know, so yeah. that's how that happened. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It was true, though. I was what, talking to somebody else, too, at the same time. But damn, Joe. Shit. <laughs> 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 All right. Now to the juicy part. Um, Before yeah, before we get to the juicy, juicy part, how did you know um Karma or, as you know, Nova? How did you meet him? Um, I dated him on home. On PlayStation Home? For, for about three months. Okay. He was on his EJ account, and I dated him on that account. And um, after that, we just split. We didn't talk to each other. Um, you know, um, home shut down, and I never talked to him again. I never got to 
explain anything. He never got to explain anything. So when I came back on Nebula and mm-hmm. about three months ago, mm-hmm. two months ago, I ran into him. Actually, he ran into me. I was at the Nexus. Oh, and wow. right. when we started talking... Um, he's like, I know you, I remember you. I was like, I don't remember you from nowhere. You know, I, a lot of stuff that was on home, I had completely forgot about, you know, I let that shit go because I was gone. So, you know, as time goes, you just, your brain just lets things go. And that's what I did. So when he was like, oh, that's my cup. So I started making up with him. I started talking to him and that's when he had RSM and, um, we started talking again. And we started um, kind of like regrowing feelings for each other. And that's when the juicy, juicy, juicy shit started because um, yeah. I found out when um, he's like, do you want to come join RSM? And mm-hmm. I was like, sure, no problem, you know, because I was fanless. And I said, yeah, I'll join RSM. Um I didn't join right away. I hung out around them to see how they were. And then I just, I just joined, you know, and, um, that's when I started talking to Faith. Faith was the co-founder. Um, and me and Faith had a past, you know, Mm -hmm. I knew her and I guess her and Nova had had a past. And, um, Nova said, um, quote, he says, yes, I had a past with Faith. He tried to say that I talked to Faith and I wanted information on him. And um, I wanted to interfere with their, I guess, like co-founder and founder um, stuff. And that really wasn't the point. I didn't do that to him because I trusted him. I gave him that trust and he actually mm-hmm. broke it. Because when he started getting that fishiness with me, you know, that's when things started to happen because we had started to get bigger. We actually had recruited more people. We had brought more people oh, wow. in the fam. Okay. And um, when that had happened, me and him started dating. So-called. So-called dating. So-called dating. Um, yeah, he kind of like had another girl. Um, Miss Carmen or Miss Nova. Oh, wow. And, he had a Miss Nova? Uh, yeah, he had another female, um, and I ended up finding out about it. We ended up, you know, I ended up finding out later, you know, um, the shit had came to a, a rise because mm-hmm. Thrax had ended up joining, and yeah. that whole Thrax, Thrax situation, like, yeah, Nova had bought shit for him, but Thrax didn't ask for it. Neither did Toxic, neither did me, neither did anybody. Mm-hmm. He can say that, you know, he bought Thrax. Well, I mean He bought Nova. Did you watch Thrax interview? Yes, I did. Um I mean he, he did admit that he, he did, you know well oh uh, kinda a little bit ax well he kinda told me what his problem was, like, oh I couldn't really play it or I can't get yeah. online right now, then I guess that's yeah, when that's Karma just sent the money. Yeah, Karma bought him things Mm -hmm. he actually didn't buy him a psn card because i was there when that happened you know i was around nova i was around nova a lot from the time that i was in rsm i was really close to nova (laughs) so i really wasn't seeing i wasn't seeing like the missus account like i would see Mm -hmm. her he would tell me that oh she's gonna change your name i'm gonna you know I'm going to buy it, her a $10 PSN card to have her name changed. Well, that never happened. This is like a month going in. And really? then I started finding out shit. Me and Nova started arguing. We started having fights. Then um, I had left for like a couple of days. Uh-huh. And a bunch of shit had came arise to me and told me, well, yeah, you know, Miss Nova's still on Miss Nova's account. And they're still hanging out and they're still talking. The fam knew that and they didn't want to tell me because they knew that I was a confronting person. Oh, wow. I would confront Nova. And I did a couple of times. I had told Nova, I said, what is going on? Why are you still dating another person? You lied to me. You told me that we were dating. And you actually lied to me. 
you know, you wow. didn't, you didn't, you didn't speak the truth. So you're, so now you're saying, oh, we weren't together. Then he was trying to tell everybody else, oh, we weren't together. But in my chats mm -hmm. that I have, he was asking me, do you love me? Do you want to be with me? Um, and I said, mm -hmm. yes. You know, <clears throat> and he was like, well, I'm going to talk to Miss Nova. I'm going to break up with her. We're going to be together. I said, okay, no what? problem. I believed him. I believed the bullshit. You know, I didn't think uh, that he would be that sneaky. Damn. But he was. Okay. He kept her around. He kept her around. He kept her, he kept her around on the side. You know, she would only come on when I went on. You know, and she was hardly on anyways. And, you know, he may uh -huh. had 56 members. He had 56 members, I remember, in the chat. Do you, do you know her her um her her main account? No, I do not. Oh, okay. Cause she changed it to Miss Nova. Oh, she changed it to Miss Nova. Okay, okay. Yeah, she had changed. They they he had bought her to change it. Oh wow. From what I ended up finding out in the end, and then um, we were all chill. We would all you know how you know all of us would chill together. Thrax, mm -hmm. Toxic, me, Siren, Sins. Um, GG, Ken, I mean, we all chilled together. There was only actively eight members. Wow. Out of 56 members. There was only you know, eight active. There was only like eight active, I can actually say. Oh, wow, okay. Damn. And um, he tried to say, uh, Nova tried to say that he brought Toxic in, and he brought Thrax in. Yeah. And he brought certain other people in. When in reality, when it came down to the toxic situation, me and him, me and Nova were kind of like on the cool side again of things because I believed his bullshit and his lies. So, <laughs> wow. um, we were in a party together. Um, I was in one party and Nova was in another party and he was talking to Toxic Reaper. And, um... I had said, you know, let me talk to Toxic because I know the fam that he's currently in, which is from um, Lady Rosa. You know, she had made a fam and um, and everything, and there was only like a couple of really good active members. There was Pink Girl 36 and there was Toxic. Well, Pink Girl okay. kind of like followed Toxic everywhere that he went. You know, she really had a big old crush on him. Oh, but, okay. um, when I got oh. into the party, when I got into the party with Nova and Toxic and everybody, mm -hmm. I told Toxic, I said, we're no drama fam. We don't bring the bullshit. We're not about the lies. We don't cover anything, you know. So I kind of like begged Toxic to join RSM. You know, I told him, yeah. I told him repeatedly, you know, it's your option if you want to join. If you want to join RSM, you know, it's up to you. He dropped his tags, he popped RSM, he popped the color. We were all chill for a long time. Well, then well, Nova okay. and I started, me and Nova started having issues again. Having and, issues again. Oh, be uh, yeah, before you we, get to that. Um, did you watch Nova interview? Some of it. Some of it? All right. Uh, I want to know this, because he did say that, I, I don't know if it was you or maybe it was Miss Nova. Um, that maybe you can't you came out there to see him and then he didn't want to see you. Okay, that's true. So, like, did you actually went out? So there? this is it. This is this is me. I had to go to Colorado for a board meeting. Oh, uh, okay. My company that I work for out of Clark County, which is in Nevada, we have a center in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And I went out there and I told Nova, do you want me to come see you? He was like, yeah, sure. We'll plan something. Well, you know, I was like, I'm only going to be out here for like the weekend um, from, fr from Friday to Saturday. And that I was leaving Saturday night. You know, I had planned to come see him mm -hmm. um, when I was there, when I told him I was in Colorado and, um, he was like, yeah, sure, we'll meet up and all this other stuff. And then plans fell because he, I had to leave. I had to come back for work here in Nevada. Oh, so wow. He made it seem like. 
No. He didn't want to see you at all. No, like, he, he wanted trip. to see me. Because um, he had even... There's a screenshot you have. He had oh, yeah, even... Yeah. I want to um bring some of the screen. I want to um talk about the screenshots too. Matter of fact, let me pull them up. Okay. Um, cause he, cause one the, in the interview he said that you know he he has two jobs. He gets paid real good. Now at that time, what is that? Uh, at that time, was he? Did he? He didn't have a job or anything like that. Um, from what I was seeing. And from what I was feeling from him, uh huh, he had only worked like maybe four hours, five hours a day, and yeah. it wasn't a constant either. And when he was on, he was on a whole lot of the time. He uh. wasn't like really like at a steady work. He can say that he worked two jobs, but mm-hmm. in my eyes. And the what I've seen, because, you know, I have the PlayStation app, so I could see where he was at. And it was always on Nebula, and he would always say that he's not on. But when I would pop on, he was talking, he was communicating, I said, so, in reality, to me, do I see him working two full jobs? No. Because if that was the case, he would have never been on. Because two full-time jobs is Uh eight hours apiece. That's 16 hours, you're gone. He was on this game. He was on Nebula. So he was capping there. Yes, basically. Because on the um, straight cap, the, the meshes that I'm looking at, you talking about? I'm really going through a lot out here for real. Uh, people, jobs, just everyone and everything. Uh, now he, what he mean by going through some stuff like is the, what the well, job? He's talking about yes. people. I had, well, he lives for one. He's mm-hmm. like 23, 24 years old. Or 25. Um, I'm not quite for sure, but I know he's over 23. And he um, he basically said that he lives with his aunt. He came clean about it. Mm-hmm. And I guess he had gotten into a fight with his uncle almost. Yeah. And he had messaged me and he was like, and that's when he said the screenshot that you have. When he was talking about, can you come get me? Yeah, um, like, I want to start my life over with yep, you. Start his life, you know, moving out there because he feel like he could do more he things can, out yes. there where you at. Yeah, and then I told him, you know, I had planned to go see him and I planned to bring him back, and that's when I really found out the lies. And I told him, no, I'm never coming to get you. And that's when the drama really started, and that's when, um. I found out about the Miss Nova and I confronted him in the party, you know, in front of everybody. I'm that type of person. I'm a confront, um, a confrontational person. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to show and I'm going to express how I fucking feel in front of everybody, whether, you know, he really likes it Mm -hmm. or not. I'm going to be the one, you know, to share what he has said. You know, you're not going to, it seems like, like, the next one was like, oh, it's a lot going, going through. I hate my job. Uh, I really did want it to move out there with, with you. Wanted to change my life around. It sounded like he really wanted to be with you and move out there. Now, all of a sudden, yes. now, you came out there. You said you was, gonna, you, was, you was actually going to get him and bring him back to where you live at, right? Yeah, he wanted me to come get him. Um, we had planned on him coming down here and just to spend some time here. Uh-huh. And I told him, that's cool. You know, you can come spend a couple of, you know, a couple of weeks or whatever. I said, but if you stay down here permanently, you do have to find work. Well, he was like, no. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So, no, that was a no-go for me. That was more oh, of no-go. saying, that was more like, if a man is going to walk in my front door and think that he's going to be the man of the house... Or, you know, just living here? No, you're not going to be... mooch off you. <laughs> you're not going to do that. You're not going to live yeah. off me. You know, I have bills. I have children. You yeah. know, you have to get along not only just with me, but my children. And he was... he, And then he was like, well, I'm not going to, you know, discipline your children. I'm not going to really talk to your children. I just want to be there with oh, you. Wow. I mean, and I'm like, whoa, dude, what? that's not going to happen. That's, <laughs> that's not going to happen okay. with me. Uh, that, that's crazy. Like he's not gonna talk. 
Like, if you're going to live with somebody, you know the person got kids, you, you will have to, like, bond with the kids, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, yo. Um, the so, next, you know, uh, um, the next message you sent me, I guess this is on Nebula, right? Now, this was a little, I think he was, maybe he was a little horny, he wanted to fuck it, but he was talking about bending you over and start fucking you from the back, pulling your hair, uh -huh. um, still, beating yeah, your that's when he was like, dating, that's when he was dating Miss Nova. Oh, and that was Miss, oh, so he, no, he that talking was me, to that was oh, me. okay, okay. That, that was, was me you. and him, but he had still Miss Nova. Oh, wow. So, you're telling everybody that me and you weren't really together, but you're on PlayStation Home saying not. Wow. Now, the next you one you sent me. No, go, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. No, you, go ahead you can't play. You can't play, Juggy. You can't play the player because in, in the end, he ended up losing because I ended up walking away from the fam because me and him had got into a deep conversation. And I told him, I explained to him, I said, I I'm not doing this. You know, I walked away from, mm -hmm. you know, RSM. I told him I'm done. I sent Faith a message and I said, I'm gone. You know, I'm not going to deal with this bullshit. And even Faith had ag agreed with me. She had even said, you know, I I'm done with his bullshit. He wants to, you know, do everything on his own because he's so-called the founder when, you know, you got to, you just can't make all the decisions. You have a co-founder, you know, you got to. Yeah. Damn. Okay. You gotta, you know, go to your co-founder and talk. You just can't mm -hmm. make all the decisions on your own, especially when there's a co-founder involved. Wow. So Faith had to get involved in him a lot of times, and you know, correct him on what he was doing, because he was fucking up. You know, he was just giving out ranks. He didn't really have. He didn't have no divisions. He didn't have. He didn't have what a real fam has. And he always wanted to be in control. He always mm -hmm. wanted to be the party leader. Um, you know, he would always, you know, if I had the leadership, he would always got to make a new party, invite everybody, and he had to <laughs> yeah. be the power. He he wants the power. Okay. Um, the next um, meshes, you sent me next, the next screenshot. This off Snapchat or something? Mm-hmm. All right, because... Um, he was saying I guess he was telling you to you know bring your ass to what well, RSM stop bullshitting and you like anyway I'm going to pick up my kids um what's this um and have a good day and you should just um just to chill I mean not chill <laughs> just have a good a good day and blessed day so what what yes. do you mean by um that's when you was finna that's when you was leaving um the fam? And when you tell him yes. to stop, stop the bullshit, bring your ass back to the fam? Yeah, he, um, because I had left, and he wanted me to come back. And I had told him no. I said, I'm not going to deal with your bullshit. You know, I'm, I'm, he tried calling me, he tried texting me, he tried FaceTiming me, and I was not having it. You know, I told him, I said, once I'm done, I'm done. You know, I'm really yeah, gone. You said, remember this, you're done. <laughs> By the way, I recorded you yesterday on my phone asking me if you could come back to RSM. Damn, you, you recorded it? Oh, um, that was, oh, no. that was OTF? him. That oh, was OTF. him. Okay, he okay. recorded it. And then he had said, he okay. said, um, and that's when he says, I've recorded you. But then he also said later down the road, Juggy, just bring your or back ass, bring your ass back to RSM. How are you going to record me Damn. asking to come back? But then again, you come back and you tell me to bring my ass back. So now are you capping, but you're lying, saying that I begged you for me to come back? I didn't beg nothing of him. Sound like he was threatening you. you. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, you gonna you know, come back, I'm going to, I guess, release or anything like that. Damn. He has nothing of me. He didn't have a picture. He didn't have no pornography pictures. He had no he picture of you? No, no. The only picture he had of me is a, of, of, he, uh, the only picture he has of me is a face picture. 
He does oh. not have an ass picture. He doesn't have a pussy picture. He doesn't even have a titty okay. picture of me. Let's, let's talk about that then. Because um, he did say that you did send him some titty pictures. Um, I think a video, well, voice audio of you moaning and stuff that all that was in the um messenger and he said that you blocked him so he can't go back and like actually get it okay so that's true and i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna tell you this now mm -hmm. he does not have anything of me i have him completely unblocked because oh, i yeah, sent him unblocked. a message i do not have i do not have him blocked because yesterday um, he came up to me and he was talking shit on Nebula again, of course, as always. My name needs to be brought up and shit. He told me he was talking about my gap and all this other shit. And, you know, yesterday mm -hmm. I was not feeling it. I was not feeling it at all. I told him, you might as well just shut the fuck up. What does he do? <laughs> two minutes. After two minutes of talking to me, not even two minutes. He literally popped off the server and went to MW. Modern Warfare. Wow. Damn. So, and then also when we were beefing, when I left RSM, we were beefing. I had just came on PlayStation and I mm -hmm. had joined, I had joined the chat and, um, everybody was like, come to, you know, Nexus, come to Nexus. So I came into Nexus and I started throwing everything in his face and shit. What does he do? Not even five minutes later, he's gone. He's mad as fuck, and he's on model welfare. Damn. And that's because he knows what I'm saying to him, and what I'm saying about his life is straight facts from the book. It's you can't you can't edit a screenshot. Uh huh. You can't edit what you said to me because what you said to me is what you said to me. So don't come and try to lie on my name when, in reality, you fucked yourself over. Mm. You know, between you saying that you wanted to come live with me, and then you taught everybody else that you didn't say that. How is that even possible when you said it yourself? Wow. You said it yourself that you wanted to come here. You wanted to be with me. Is, is it true that um you have a video of him being his meat. Uh huh. Wow. So that's facts. You're not capping. No. If he really wants, if he really wants me to go that far, I will. But right now, I'm going with my screenshots because I know at Man. the end of the day, what I have is what I have. What other people are saying is true about him. Mm -hmm. Like Thrax talked about him, about yeah. Louie talked about him, what Toxie said about him is all facts. You know, he keeps coming and coming and coming and coming in it. And it's like, why? You want the rise out of us. You want for us to talk to you because you have nobody. You actually Damn. paid some girl on Nebula to be with you. What? After... He paid, he paid this girl named Babs to be with him. He told everybody that when it came down to me questioning her, mm -hmm. she said no. But I don't believe anything that comes out of neither one of their mouths. Uh -huh. But I believe that he did pay her because every time them two were around each other after RSM had died, they were together. Wow. They were in a party together. They were talking. They were associating themselves. She would always have new clothes. She would always, you know, have something new on her. And I know for a fact she's not working. So where's the money coming from in reality? So yeah. it comes back to where Nova is paying someone to be with him. Damn. So you think R? Because I asked him that you know is R well RSM is dead or is still more people he said it's it's still active it's still more it actually is more people join. So RSM is no longer around. I can walk around Nebula right now, mm -hmm. walk in every server I possibly can. 
and I do not see an RSM person. We have actually ran into a couple of people that have been RSM, and when they talk to us, what happens? Their tag drops. What? Damn. Because they, because in their, the, because uh, I had one girl, she joined. She didn't know what Nova really is, and she had even confessed that she had bought him shit, that she, that he had she, bought her stuff oh, to wow. join RSM. So I know he's out there trying to recruit, mm -hmm. but it's not going to happen on the scale that it happened when all of the originals were in it. It's not going to happen because mm. of all the mic ups that we've had, all of the screenshots, all of now the interviews that we've had, mm -hmm. people have come up to us and said, oh shit, Nova. Oh, hell. Then, like yesterday, I guess I was not on, and I guess they were, um, I guess this fan called AAA, I've never heard of it. I guess they were in a fight with Nova. So, oh, wow. I know, in reality, Nova is not on like he was on when we were all in RSM. If he is, he's in a completely different server from all of us, because he okay. knows what we have on him. Damn, that, that that's crazy. Cause I mean, I question him about the paying people and all that. He said he never, you know, pay anybody to join the fam or you know pay people to be his friend or anything like that. So it's like, is, I don't is know he how capping? Because he, he's telling me he's not capping. He, he's telling me he's not lying. He, he doesn't do that. He bought, he bought Thrax because Thrax, you know, he was new. Yeah. He volunteered. To help Thrax get clothes on Nebula. Wow. And Thrax told him, "Yeah, sure, why not? You know, you know, it's you know they were friends then. So he did buy Thrax clothes on Nebula. So in reality, I look back at it like he kind of, kind of, like bribed Thrax with clothes to join RSM." And, and at the end of the day, and it's just like when he did it to everybody else, he he even said, you know, I'll buy you clothes, I'll do this with you, you know, um. So I look at it this way: like, why are you buying people? Are you that desperate to have people in your fam? Desperate people to have around you? That you gotta go and you gotta buy somebody. That's not that's not the way to go about it. Go out there and recruit somebody. Be real. Do do what everybody else does. Get off your ass on the get your get your ass off Nebula and recruit people. Be part of the fam. Do what everybody else is doing. Just don't go buy into somebody and say, "Well, I'll get you this and this and this for you to join my fam." That's not the way to go about it. Because at the end of the day, that looks you. That makes you look bad as a leader, as a friend, or or anything. It doesn't make you look good. Damn. Okay. Um. I want to say this right here. Um. Is it like can y'all? You know, is there any way y'all can squash it? Look past it? So it just is gonna be like. Done. You not fucking with him no more. You learn your lesson. Um. Or can he apologize to you? The only way. I mean, I'm past it. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm I'm past it. You know, I until somebody brings it up to me, that's when I speak on it. But in reality, he has to admit that he wanted to come here. That he wanted to mm -hmm. live with me. That he wanted to see me. He has to confess about yeah. his, and, his and, life. And mucho for, you, mucho for you. Don't forget that. Yes. Yeah. He has to admit to the fact that he did have other females besides me. He has to admit that we were together. But then again, we weren't together. He has to admit to the point where where did... 
where did us stop talking? Where did us stop dating end? Was it three days into me being in the fam? Was it four days? Um, what was the real reason why you kept me around? Because I didn't buy him shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't do shit for him. Oh, wow. So I want to know why you kept me around in the end. Is it because you wanted to play me? You wanted to play my feelings? You wanted to play Miss Nova? What? Why? But I know I'm not going to get that closure. So I let it be. So, and like I told, like I told everybody else, when this interview is done, he's completely out of, he's completely done. Because all the stuff that I've sent you is more than enough proof to shut him down. Mm. To show how really he really is towards another female. Because I've been in them shoes. I've seen how Mm -hmm. he acts. I've seen how he talks to females. I see how he talks to other members, how he downgrades, how he treats his people with disrespect. And it's not the right way to go. Not one bit, no matter if you got beef with that person or not, but to lie on their life, to lie on their name. Why? Is it to make you feel better? But if it is to make you feel better, why do it to this extent, to this extent where I have to come out And I have to say all facts. You have the proof in your hands, all facts of him lying about me, lying about the fam, Mm -hmm. lying about him coming to me, talking about, oh, he wanted to be here and all this other shit. Go ahead. But what I have on my phone and what I have from other people is all facts. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to lie on you. Damn. That's correct. Maybe he was just trying to, you know, I, trying to have you as a plan B. Maybe that was Well, that plan B failed. Mm. Because when he did, when I found out about, about Miss Nova, mm-hmm. I was done. I was literally done. I drew the line. I told him that I'm not... I'm not going to do this. I'm done with you. You can have it. You can have her. You can have this fam. But when Ken and him started fighting and him and Toxic and him and him and Toxic, him and Lou, him and Ken, him and um, Thrax started fighting and when Sins and when Siren started fighting, They saw how he is, and that's when they left. And they came to me. They brought me in a party chat, and they were like, well, you know we left RSM. I was shocked. What happened? Why did you leave? And that's when Ken and everybody started talking about how he was downgrading everybody and how, in reality, we knew about Miss Nova and how we didn't want to tell you because we knew that you would leave. Mm -hmm. And we didn't want you to leave because you are a good person, Juggie. That's what they told me. You know, so that's when I had no problem in being friends with them after, you know, the fam. Because he had even said to me, well, you know, they're not going to follow you and all this other shit. And I said, watch. I bet you they're going to leave. They're going to see the role you and they're going to leave. What happened? Not even three days. They came to me and told me they all left. Damn. All of them. And I'll tell you them now. It was um, Dr. Rio 84, Endless Tornado, Gigi McDaniel, Hanzo Ken, Louis the Honcho. You had Toxic Reaper. You had Anime Geek. You had Faith. His co founder left. What? You had Cyber Wolf leave. You had Gyptations leave. Hungry Alien, it's that Thrax theme. You had Lightkin's Doll leave. You had myself leave. Damn. You had Siren leave. You had more. There's more people that left after I had left. 
So there was a good amount of people that had left after I did that seen mm-hmm. how he really is. Well, I mean, damn. Okay, okay. That's a that's a, that's a lot of people to feel like, oh man, a mistake like that, man. That's, just, that's crazy. Yo. But, um, it is. You know, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna um, end this video, man. You know, it, anything else you want to know, get off your chest before I end this video. Like, anything you want to say to Karma? Like, I want Karma to know that his name to me means nothing. To his life means nothing to me. That he will never be able to speak on my name wow. the way he's done. And if he has anything to say to me, he can keep it to himself because I will never listen to what karma has to say. And like I tell him every single time, your name is going to be you one day. And that day is today. Ooh, karma, today is the day, man. Shoot. All right, all right. Um, Jug, thanks for hitting me up. Want to do this no interview? Problem. Tell yes out of no story problem. of what's going on. I and enjoyed shit. it. You enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed hanging I like out that. with you, and I enjoyed explaining the uh, real, deep facts about him mm-hmm. and how he treated his members at the end of the day, and how he dogged me. Mm. Because what I've been hearing, what I've been seeing, he's just lying to cover up more lies, and I'm not going to cover up a lie. Uh-huh. You want a screenshot? I'll screen it to you. You know, I have no problem in doing that. And you even see it in the screenshot. He even asked me, do you love me? Do you want to be with me? I even told him, do you remember that? But you mm-hmm. lied to me. You told me that me and you weren't together. But in the end of the, at the end of the day, you said that you loved me. So you're not lying once. You're not lying twice. You're not lying three times. You're not lying four times. But you're lying six, seven, and eight times. And I'm not about to do that. Mm. Damn, oh, did, I want to ask you this before I end the video. Did you, you know, did you really love him at the time? You know, you was talking to him. I had cared for him. Oh, you cared? Okay. I had cared for him to a point. I did start to like him. I did start to, you know, have feelings for him. But when it came down to it at the end, my feelings, my emotions, my thoughts about him completely mm-hmm. went away. Damn. Completely. Because now I just look at him as another person on Nebula. Mm. Oh, that oh. has done that has done wrong. Sheesh. Okay. Um well I'm <laughs> in this video, man. Um Jared, like I said, thanks for stopping by. Tell your side of the story. No problem. Give me the information what the hell is really going on. I guess people is capping in the interviews now. <laughs> Well, uh, thanks for showing the proof. Um, you yeah, know, no show problem. It for the audience who's going to look at the video and all that. So, yo, yeah, man, thanks, Chuck. Um, no I'm going to go ahead and end this video, man. This is your boy, NHG. Want me to subscribe, comment, like, and stay tuned for the next video. B, I'm out of here, man.